hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video i'll be showing you how to use zoom for more than 40 minutes in the free plan or the basic plan so if it's while you're watching this video you're in the right place i want to say that here people don't know that um zoom has got various plans you have the basic or free plan you have the pro the business you also have the business plus and enterprise now i'm talking about those who are using the free plan here it says the limit is 40 minutes but here i will show you a little hack that you can apply that can help you to what to be able to um have your meetings last for more than 40 minutes okay all right guys before i go into that i want to say that if you're watching for the first time on my channel i talk about um, i review appliances devices softwares and also websites and i also um would like you to consider subscribing if it's what you're looking for and also share this video to those who would like um, solutions to um, software issues and all that which i talk about in my videos okay guys let's jump in already right the first thing you have to do now is to get zoom for yourself you can either download zoom or use the web version i would say you should um, i recommend that you download zoom to be able to use this function appropriately like i demonstrated in this video what you do is simply go here to the web and type in zoom download you can see here download zoom download zoom once you download zoom you should have an application that looks just like this after you have signed up with zoom you can see here to say sign up here login you can actually sign up here on that bar so that's how you can obtain zoom for yourself and have this display just like this um, on my screen so the very first thing you do here is you should be able to schedule a meeting in zoom before you go ahead to do anything so just for those who are newbies with zoom this is how you use zoom you actually you can actually go here and once you sign up you would have your profile displayed this way with your username and all that and settings available away your status is going to be right here your profile can be modified right here and it says down here check up check for updates um switch to portrait view uh, switch account sign out and buy license if you sign in if you're signed in it's going to be sign out right here so that's exactly how zoom should display on your screen now for those who are wondering how do i book a meeting in, in zoom i'm going to show you in this video as well so just stay tuned what you simply do is to be able to book a meeting you go right here where it says here um schedule and I understand that um, people use Zoom most times because they are invited for meetings with Zoom. So what you can simply do is if you've been invited for a meeting in Zoom, you simply go here and click on join and then it gives you the meeting ID and the meeting name as well. So you enter the meeting ID of the link that was sent to you by the, um, the, uh, the, the organizer. So you put the link right here and you can join easily that, that way if they have um, given you a password then it's going to provide you with a link for a password sorry a space for a password to enter the password so you can go on to log into the meeting so that's how you can join the meeting in zoom but you have to have been invited for a meeting first of all before you're able to join the meeting okay so let's jump into what we're talking about for today how to book a meeting and extend for more than 40 minutes for a single meeting so the first thing you have to do is here schedule a meeting okay i'll take you through four stages of this guys but the same method we're going to show you exactly how to do it the first thing you do is to book a meeting and to book a meeting you you click on schedule right here to start a meeting to schedule a meeting right you click right here it's a schedule and then here is the meeting topic or title this is where you have to add what the meeting is all about so let's see the meeting is going to be like um something like says um that says um test youtube meeting let this be let this be the uh, meeting okay and then this is very important so just note this somewhere it's very important the next thing is the, the start time of the meeting it's a friday today august 12th um of this year i can make it um to start to start let's say meeting to start at 11 30 a.m and should last for 30 minutes all right so what this is going to do is this meeting is going to end at 12 noon obviously and so from here the next thing we do is we go to where it says meeting id you want to set your meeting id to generate automatically which is right here once that's set okay next thing you do is to go into looking at these settings right here you can leave it as it is by default that's okay and then next is calendar 
which is also very important it tells you here you're able to once this meeting is scheduled you're able to add in the email addresses of people you want to send these to or invite for the meeting and then you're able to invite them through this calendar so let's say you're inviting them through outlook or through google calendar it's going to choose you choose google for here and for outlook you choose here for others you choose here but let's say we want for google calendar if that's what you're doing that means those involved definitely have a google calendar activated so if that's okay let's click on save once you click on save, it leads you into this page here. It opens up your Google Calendar here where you can you can uh, you can input more details here. You can edit this thing. You can say here um Bruno EO here it says EO EO. I can say Bruno EO, okay? EO is inviting you for is is um inviting you to a scheduled Zoom meeting right here. You can add any more details here if you want to, but it's okay if you don't want to, and that's okay. Here you can now add the the guest um, emails here. Once you add the email, you click on enter and it goes into here as it, it just populates here. Let's say we want to add, uh, this is just a random email guys. Uh, and we do this, you see, it goes in here as, as, um, invited as you can see here right here so that's just what it looks like i've just organized this um, emails for the purpose of this video so i i believe you know how it works now let's say you want to do something like um and and at yahoo.com there you go and that is also added right here so this is just to let you know how it works how it works um how you can add people and the moment you add people here you can click on save and once that's done you can see this is the, the meeting title right here. So once that's done, you click on save and then it sends the email to all the guests that you have invited for the meeting. So that's just how it works, guys. It's very simple. It's the way it works. So that's when that's done. Once that's done, save and, and send. It says here, would you like to send invitation emails to Google Calendar guests? Yes. I will send it right here and it is sent as you can see um, on my calendar as well it has been booked as the meeting right here so once that's okay it's going to appear in the calendar the same way so once that's done i can go back into my zoom okay and that is done already so this meeting is going to end at 12 noon but we're trying to schedule meetings or a meeting that will last longer than 40 minutes so this for 30 minutes okay and now we understand that next thing we do is we book another meeting guys yes that's the hack book another meeting and make sure that the the um, topic is the same and this one will start from the end of the other one which is 12 pm 12 noon it starts from here for 30 minutes as well and then it generate automatically leave it this way leave everything this way and click on google as well and then you can you can click on enter or save sorry save right here it goes back into Google as well, the same thing, enter the same guest you put here, put their emails right here and click on enter and then you save. And once let's go back and just choose um and uh, and then you click on save. Make sure that the emails that you're the people you're inviting are those you invited in the first place in the first meeting because they'll be there in the second meeting as well. So once that's done, you can click on save. It says, Do you want to send them an invitation? Yes, I want to send them. I want to send them right here, send. And that's booked as well you see it keeps booking these meetings this way so you go back into your zoom again and then you go into where it says schedule again schedule you also book a meeting another meeting again but with the same topic book a meeting this time from you should start from um 12 30 okay from 12 30 which is going to be the end of the previous one you just booked and then you can leave everything the same way make sure that it stays here and generate automatically go back here and click on save once again it takes you into the calendar where you have to enter the emails of your guests and also save let's do that one one more time uh, okay and then you save and once that's done you can see it goes into google calendar and it also shows you that the booking has been made 
as you can see right here it's been made for you so this is how you do it so what happens is that if you notice here we you would have a number of meetings you see it says to view today's upcoming meetings right here you can see you have three meetings you have scheduled three meetings here and everything's going to last for and everything's going to last for a total of 30 30 30 that's like one hour and 30 minutes so that's how you can do this what's going to happen now is 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 i know these are these look like different meetings but we did some settings here that are very important just make sure that all the topics of the for the meetings are the same and you invite the same people what's going to happen here is 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 once they have they are attending the first meeting right the first meeting for 30 minutes let me just give you an instance here once they are at, they're in the first meeting which is for 30 minutes what happens now is once they get to the end once they um they are coming to the end of this meeting the other one notifies them and says um your meeting starts in three minutes in five minutes and all that right once that comes up right don't take action what's going to happen is after towards the end of this original meeting here the first meeting here they have they have a message on the screen saying that saying that the meeting has been updated okay the meeting has been updated right so they will have to accept the new update by clicking an okay button on the screen once that happens you click the okay button here and they'll be switched into the new meeting right the new meeting but in this case here it will be like zoom sees it as as um meeting has been updated because the meeting is has the same title um and is also by the same person so the same topic and has has been um, set by the same person who's invited you so it's going to see it as an update so in that way you can last for one hour one hour and 30 minutes in total for this meeting instead of having 40 minutes now the old school way of doing this is by is by um is by uh scheduling three different meetings and then people will be bumped out so people will be bumped out and then they'll be bumped into the meeting again but that's an old school way of doing it guys if you want no interruptions the best way to schedule three meetings consecutively you know with the time beginning at where the next one ends and in that way they'll only accept the updates to be bumped into the next meeting without having the breaking transmission so that is that is how to do it guys and i must warn you guys while you're using this method make sure that you don't attempt to set a meeting the next meeting here after this one has started you do all these before the first meeting starts it has to be done up front book all the meetings up front before the first one starts so that it sees it as an update so that is how to do this guys and i hope you uh you it was beneficial i hope you are able to use this to um schedule your meetings and it should work it should work for you in um this year and beyond so guys um this is how to spend more than 40 minutes on a zoom meeting i'm using the free version the basic version i hope it was helpful guys don't forget to leave me a like um comment in this video as well let me know if it worked for you and let me know as well um, um if you want any updates on this video in the future um don't forget to like share subscribe and um yeah i'll see you in my next video bye for now